Peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Woke Podcast. This is your boy, Bobby Velgan. I'm back with another video. I'm going to make this a real quick video. It's not going to be very, uh, very long for the most part. Uh, there's new information that came out about the murder or the assassination of Malcolm X. Um, if you have not read the autobiography of Malcolm X or um, watched uh, the Malcolm X movie, I r highly re recommend that you watch and read both uh, the book and watch the movie. And there's another uh, another book that I can't remember the title of right now. I'll post it. I have I actually have the book. I'll post it later. But for the most part, they say that there's new information in regarding to the assassination of Malcolm X. They're saying that NYPD and FBI had, uh, or not had, but they were involved in uh, the assassination of Malcolm X. And I'm here to say, no fucking shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Who the fuck don't know that? Who don't know that? Uh, J. Edgar Hoover was bugging both, not only the NOI, but Malcolm X, especially Malcolm X after he was exiled from the NOI, after he left the NOI. So, like, how don't you know that? If you know the fucking story to Malcolm X, if you know the fucking story to Malcolm X and why he left the NOI because of, because of Elijah Muhammad and his dealings with underage women, Underage little girls, teenage girls, teenage girls, and how he was impregnated, teenage girls. Of course, like, like, of course, when, when he left, J. Edgar Hoover started, J. J. Edgar Hoover started sending letters back and forth to both. Back and forth to both. Malcolm X started speaking about the fact that Elijah Muhammad, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, was a serial pedophile. At that point, after that, Malcolm started to talk, started to say that he's a dead man because of the shit that he was saying. The NOI was after his ass too. Don't exclude the NOI, cause like let's be let's be honest. We gonna be honest here. Any black organization, in my personal opinion, any black organization that is still around from back then that are making moves the way the NOI are making moves have to be up under a certain umbrella. Have to be. Like, John Lewis, he just passed not too long ago. You, you, was, you went from getting your ass kicked in the middle of the streets for so-called for civil rights, and then you end up becoming a senator. Angela Davis still around to this day, but when it comes to Shada Shakur, she's she can't come back to the states. She's in Cuba. She she can't come back. She come back. She's dead. She's a dead woman. Fred Hampton. When it comes to when it comes to Malcolm himself, Marcus Garvey got got deported. So forth and so on. Everybody that was pro, that was legit pro black, legit trying to help the black community get ahead and establish some type of economic economic uh, footing, they were, for the most part, discarded. When I mean discarded, they were murdered. Blah blah blah. So forth and so on. So with that being said, I know a lot of people are like, what that what does that have to do with the NOI? That mean that the NOI is not necessarily who they portray themselves to be. Because if the NOI was really about what they were if if the NOI was really about that shit, the NOI would have been gone. The NOI would have been gone. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. A lot of a lot of, the NOI had something. Uh, the NOI had had a hand in the in the murder of Malcolm X and the assassination of, Mal of Malcolm X. They legit did. 
They had a hand in, in the assassination of Malcolm X, bro. They were infiltrated. You can say they were infiltrated. You can say this, that, and the third. Because I personally feel like, yeah, they were infiltrated. I feel like, yeah, they allowed themselves to be infiltrated. I'm just being. I'm just gonna tell my whole, my my whole point of view. I they they allowed themselves to be infiltrated. They wanted Malcolm off the streets because he was sitting there. He was telling people that Elijah Muhammad was sleeping with little girls. He was impregnating little girls. And that's the truth. You can go look that up. Go look it up. Go look up, go look up what Malcolm was talking about after he started mentioning that shit. He, he knew that his death was coming. And, it's be, and it was because his enemies linked up. His enemies linked up because they had a common enemy. They had somebody they really need to get off the streets. And that was Malcolm. So it wasn't just the FBI. Like, everybody know the FBI had were, were involved. The thing is, though, the NOI was involved, too. Now, like, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I listen to Riza Islam here and there. Yeah, I, I fucking follow 19 Keys, and that's only because of the fact that he talks about wealth, and he talks about wealth constantly. You know, yes, I bought I bought uh, several books from the NOI Research Labs. Yes, when it comes to the secret, the secret relationship between blacks and the Jutang clan. When it comes to the emasculation of the black man, Dr. Wesley Muhammad, PhD. Yes, I have his book too. I'm not sitting there. <clears throat> I don't leave no stone. Uh, I don't leave no stone unturned when it comes to information. But when it comes straight down to it, I just felt like I just feel like the NOI is just one of those groups that's up under that umbrella. If you understand what I'm saying, because the fact that y'all still y'all talking this pro-black shit. Y'all talking about empowering black people. Y'all talking about how much of a threat they are, but they're still around and they've been around for for how for how long? Well, a little bit well before the civil rights movement. Come on, bro. You can't you can't tell me you can't tell me certain certain shit certain shit's not in play in order to keep them around. Especially especially since they took out Mount. They were involved in taking out Malcolm. Nobody can't tell me different. All of a sudden, you start talking about the fact that Elijah Muhammad was sleeping with little girls. And then next thing you know, Malcolm start, start saying that he's a dead man. This, that, and the third. Malcolm secure, Malcolm's uh, lead security guard was up was, was the reason why Malcolm was set up the reason why there were there were no security at the front door of the hall that fateful day they were involved all of them were involved NYPD FBI NOI I'm done make sure you like su subscribe share comment um Whatever you need to do, DM, what, I don't give a shit. Make sure this video get out there. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.